and welcome to an all-new Marvel Cast Explosion Network's hub of all things Marvel, a place to talk about everything MCU and beyond, from Avengers and Defenders to Red Ghost and Mad Thinker. My name is Ashton Hobley, the Explosion Network's resident fourth ball breaker, and joining me today is Ultimate Kieran Marchant. Hi, everyone. It is uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful day for a wedding, randomly. A, a green wedding? A- but I guess it's not a green, it's a white no. wedding. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So today we're <laughs> talking about the latest episode of She Hulk Attorney at Law. Just Jen. Directed by Anu Valia. Uh, written by Kara Brown. Uh, Jen is a bridesmaid in a friend's wedding, a stressful event compounded by uniquely She Hulk issues. Uh, Kieran, what do you think of this week's episode of She Hulk? It Attorney was. At Law. <laughs> It was okay. I don't know. Overall, I think I was kind of disappointed in it, especially after last week where we ended with the 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 kind of the exclamation. They really fucked us of <laughs> the the Daredevil helmet, and then that had nothing to do with what they were leading into. Um, I feel like this episode did nothing. You know, there was this plot about Jan attending the wedding. And the people that they kind of the Lulu who she was randomly you know friends with in high school um, was treating her terribly. So I was like, oh okay, by the end of this episode, she'll give these shitty people their comeuppance and she'll grow her confidence and you know blah blah, blah yada yada yada. No, that didn't happen. Um, it I don't know. It just felt very weird. Um, I you know what I felt I even at first before we got to know the character I felt bad. For Lulu, because, you know, you're a bridesmaid and you, you show up as She-Hulk and it's like, no wonder you're going to, like, show up everybody in our class of mm. bride and, and, and kind of make yourself the center of attention, which I don't think is great. But um, then to see the lengths that they were treating Jen, it was just a very weird thing. that Yeah, they were treating Jen in such a way and then there was kind of, by the end of it, it's just, I guess, it's just her increasing the, you know, I, I, I'm going to, I almost get the feeling. We are heading to the point down the line, I'm like maybe towards the end of the season, where Jen's going to make the decision where she's just going to always be She-Hulk. And she's never going to be Jen anymore. Because that is a very heavy part of uh, kind of several versions of She-Hulk, is that she's always She-Hulk and she's she doesn't mm. swap between the two. So maybe we're going to that point where she, she makes that decision that, you know, She-Hulk is the better version of herself and... and that's a very sad um, kind of realization for her, and, and obviously we'll get the no. Jen's great at some things, and she helped great at other things. But yeah, I think overall this episode, you know, even though it was the fourth wall break where it was where Jen comes up and it says, "Oh, you know, this episode's coming in at a really inconvenient time, but it's going to be a self-contained wedding episode. Uh, have fun, good luck with that." Um, yeah, it was just not not great. Yeah, I this is probably my least favorite of the episode yeah. so far. Just overall, it didn't feel as didn't have as fun a storylines mm-hmm. as uh, some of the other episodes going forward. I'll debate you on whether this was un- there wasn't anything important for the story plot going forward. There's very much an element that's introduced towards the end of the episode, but um, I do feel like this episode is going to get a lot of rage. Uh, on the back of that teaser from last yeah last week it just feels strange mm. to do that teaser and then like maybe this is supposed to be a, com- a comedic meta point or it's supposed to be like a gotcha moment where yeah it's like they huh, pull on it. we're having a wedding um tease tease and daredevil you know he's coming it's not this week um no. yeah uh yeah i i mean it's fine we got a bit more titania which was Fun. Still, not much motivation other than she's upset with She-Hulk and like for being upstaged. Um, I thought this would have been the episode where they dropped why she broke into the courtroom to start off with. Yes. Like, why didn't you ask Jen? Why did you not ask that question? Yeah, like, not a very good lawyer if she's not asking questions like that. You know. Um. Yeah. Just you know, rough time and away. How did? Would you go to a friend's wedding that you haven't seen in several years and be part of the, the bridal party? Depends on the friend. And it depends on the the situation and the friendship. Um, okay, like Jen's for a situation. <laughs> look, no, but I guess almost at the same time, I guess it is the value of 
Jen wanted to go back and prove how great she was and, and how much she's done. That's true. I feel like she was very much the ugly duckling of her quote-unquote friends group. Let's be honest, they're not really... Mm friends they they treat her pretty terribly and you could tell she was probably treated like that and taken advantage they took lily wants to clean the the pavilion yep the, the, the pavilion, goal area pavilion, um to to go iron the groom's shirts because they got wrinkled while playing mario kart and he's there on his switch um i don't think anybody's clothes have ever gotten wrinkled playing mario kart I know I don't wrinkle my clothes when I win <laughs> Mario Kart and beat everybody and uh, secure an Explosion Network championship, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, well, that's never happened before. So, it, uh, it certainly did. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it's... It's a weird situation. She's just put herself in. Also, what's, what was it up with that box? That was like way overkill that she got to ask to be the bridesmaid. Yeah. It didn't make a lot of sense. There was a I lot think of she was glitter. reopening it. No, I feel thing? like it was supposed to be no, no no, I think it was it was a weird time skip or like a cold opening to show you her being asked and then jumping forward into it, which is like then it's like okay, did Jen not go to a hen's party for this thing because generally when you're a bride I think it would actually in hindsight be funnier if she was asked at the last minute and she's like technically a replacement for somebody else. Yes. But no, she's the bridesmaid with a a dog with a little rat named Jonathan. Jonathan, he was he was an ugly looking dog. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, she looked good as She Hulk. Like Luke, uh, what's his? Yeah, yeah, Luke from last week set her up with a nice dress. Yeah, you know, which worked. Worked very well. Worked, worked very well in both forms. forms yes, yeah, exactly. It, um, it's very much yep. a, a nicer um, tone. It's a good setting for her to to be put in for it. So. Yeah, I don't know. This episode could have... Yeah. Yeah, so we do have Titania who shows up to the wedding. Apparently she's dating somebody on the <laughs> groom side, which, you know, Jen doesn't believe for a second. Um, she does punch Jen in the face pretty brutally mm. while she's not in Hulk form. Yes. and Jen's Which raises fine. the question, is she just stronger and more durable in non-Hulk form, seeing she's a Hulk now? Well, she was incredibly drunk. That t- well, I guess it helps. Does help. You do numb the pain. And Her dance you, moves were yeah. impressive, and she did forget how to become She Hulk for, <laughs> for a hot second there. Um, I guess the thing was, I was almost waiting for the shoe to drop at her, change it to see into She Hulk, and then Titania kind of leads her back into the wedding, and then everybody starts hating on She Hulk because why are you trying to steal the bride's thunder? Blah, 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 blah. And Titania's like, man, why are you coming at me? Like, I would have thought Titania would be, like, trying a little bit more manipulative skeeny. and skeeny. Yeah, I, I thought there'd be more skeeny. No, she just to wanted it. to beat her up. She was just like, nah, let's go. And you're like, oh, okay. And then when she does go, smashes her face. <laughs> the Ruins her S- knees. Ice on the yeah. floor, you know? Don't, don't run when there's ice about. It was a little bit cartoony. The, the slipping yep. on the ice section and I don't know it's just I feel um, like it was has... nice it was just rubble I think it's just uh, no 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 rubble. it was ice because it was all wet and stuff oh yeah, yeah she knocked the 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 waiter dude over yes yeah so yes that's right I don't know I think Titania as a villainess is a weird one because there's no threat there anymore <laughs> like it's just I don't know she does yeah. I don't know. You've kind of she's kind a fun, of, cartoony, yeah, inconvenience. But they've at the same time pulled the rug out from under her, so she's not. You know, there's no. Oh, she could beat She Hulk in a fight, or or she's got She Hulk's. I mean, or... she's the coyote, and She Hulk's the roadrunner. You know, she's never going to win. But you know, yeah, it's still but... fun to see a try. Sometimes, yeah, but the coyote, the roadrunner, does it in fun ways with Rui the coyote. Jen just turns into the Hulk, and you're like, sorry, I'm like yawning and talk. Um, <laughs> uh, Jen turns into the Hulk, and then just kind of bobs her one, and then it's fine. It's, um... Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's an interesting issue. Uh, but, you know, it works for the... I get, it's a comedy, so, I mean, it's not, like, uh, super dramatic or whatever, so, I mean, it kind of fits with the show in that regard. Uh, you know, and, the, and then the bride comes in at the end, she's very drunk. Mm. Very, very drunk, and... 
very into the Hulk boobs. And that's all fine. Right up in there. Is Yeah, it's all fine. Because she's drunk. There's no issue. Don't worry about it. Forget this ever happened. Carry on with your lives, everybody. Yep. And then cut to the tropey. So we do have, throughout this, we have Jen, like, making a connection with this. Uh, I think it's Josh, right? Yes. 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 Josh, throughout Joshua. the night. Yes. Joshua, this nice guy, you know, who she ends up sharing a plate of fries with at the end of the episode. Uh, but yes, but count cross cutting with this is uh, Nikki working with Mallory on a divorce case for Mr. Remorsal. Can, can I say, and this is probably jumping to the end of this segment where they, they're looking at um, dark Reddit. Um, and they're looking mm-hmm. at all the, the Jen She-Hulk needs to die posts on social media and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Don't know why. It felt really weird um, with her calling Jen and leaving a voicemail immediately about it. I don't know. It was just very... It felt very strange. She just shares everything. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. No secrets. Yeah. She she believes she, wanted, she would want to know. But overall, I thought the, the B-plot was... Good, but at the same time, I feel like B the B plot. Uh, I don't know. It felt very skippy in places where they all of a sudden jumped to pretty much everything being resolved. And um, yeah, there wasn't. They didn't follow through on a lot. Yeah. Uh, the major premise being Mister Immortal, a guy who can't die, uh, f- pretty much fakes his own death every time he wants to end a marriage or a relationship, and now. He- Everybody's come to sue him for, you know, s- settlement or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Really, the people who should be coming after him are insurance companies, I would assume. You would think so. Or, you know. Like, are they getting paid out insurance every single time he fakes his death? Or, like, the IRS or, or anybody who's, like, you know, he could be dodging tax. I mean, that's or- probably why they were trying to settle this out of court. You know what I mean? But even settle out of court, it has to, there has to have been, you would have thought, you know. Any kind of legal proceeding like that, even going to the point where they're settling, it's going to be some kind of, hey, this dude's a model and keeps faking his death. Yeah, but we keep paying out insurance on all these people who died. It's like, uh, you keep, uh, you know, faking your identity and shit. So, But yeah, that was fun. You know, Nikki taking charge, setting up all the negotiations uh, and Mr. Model having to put up with it which kind of was both weird at the same time because it's like okay so what does mallory do (laughs) who's supposed to be this kind of strong professional lawyer and supposed to be like on a bit more senior within the firm i don't know once again it's just because it kind of skips to all of a sudden nikki solving the problem Mm -hmm. It, it just kind of doesn't build anything for the two of them realistically like yeah. sure by the end of it there's mutual respect like there's a bit of respect for nikki and stuff and she's handled it really well um and mallory starts opening up a bit but at the same time i don't feel like we earned any of that stuff like i don't feel like the no, characters earned anything there was no bonding there was no growth to it it was it was like we got the start of it and we got the end of it but we didn't really get the middle part of it no i mean yeah it's probably for the best, because I imagine that middle part would have just been boring yes. discussions. 100%. Yeah. And I did love Mr. Immortal being told off by the two of them, and he'd just jumping out the window, you know, 30-something floors up, straight into a taxi. Dude, Them looking geez. out the window, absolutely no breeze at that height. Crazy. <laughs> uh, of course, we come to the episode, and, you know, during the episode one of the wives of mr model mentions that they she saw him on a website called intelligentsia um you know uh they are looking at it afterwards uh mostly fo- to find the footage of mr model apparently being hit by four cars at once um and they come across a restricted section of the website devoted to she hulk mm-hmm. um so they like set up a dodgy account with like a bunch of saying she hulk shit and that kind of stuff uh and they come across like a whole bunch of like you said like a reddit thread of uh people talking about she hulk and wanting her to die and her being a menace and that kind of stuff and uh clearly this is going to be the major threat to the end of the season 
Yes, and then it comes to the, 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 the lab where they're, they're working on, like the trophy lab where they're, they're working on a, a syringe. To, to super syringe. A super duper syringe with the radioactive symbol on the case. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess they're not doing the greatest job of making this anything special or individual or kind of anything at this point. It's just a very uh, paint-by-numbers kind of I mean, yeah, they're just to, yeah. slowly dropping breadcrumbs as to what how this season's going to end. But they're not nice uh, breadcrumbs. They're like stalish breadcrumbs. They're like... Yeah. Yeah, they're not great. Yeah, so I, I expect John Bass probably going to be a major figure in this who we've seen in these last few episodes. Um... Obviously, the Wrecking Crew that we saw, they have probably have been involved. Uh, do we think Josh is part of this game, this intelligence I scheme? I hope not. Like, really hope not, because that would just be a little bit too... Too mean? Too, no, not even mean, but too predictable. That's fair. Like, a, a woman, a female character who is longing for a relationship and has had so many failed relationships... And then all of a sudden finds this one guy who's really great for her and, and, and she interacts with really well. And Oh wait, he was a plant there to steal her blood the entire time! Oh my god! Like, it's just, uh, so, it's, so cliche, someone trying to steal your blood. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just very common and, and very, I don't, know, I don't need it to be that way. Yeah, so many blood snatchers out there. There yeah. are blood snatchers, you know. They're called vampires, believe me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. That's yeah. an entire why and genre, so that does make sense. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting, because obviously hey, the intelligent... of vampires, <laughs> Lulu's friends were arguing about Team Edward versus Team Jacob. I was like... In 2022. I was like, this is 2022. Guys, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But she dated both the actors. So. I mean, that was more important than, you know, talking about... <laughs> talking about... Jen's job. Jen's relationship or, or Jen's job or Jen becoming the superhero. Yeah, none of that matters. It's either men or Twilight. Yes. Uh, of course, look, well, the Intelligentsia is obviously a bigger group than probably what they're going to be in here. The comics, they're like headed up by Modoc and like a group of supervillains uh, trying to like exchange information and that kind of stuff. So it's cool that they're kind of pulling that into the MCU. I don't think we'll be seeing Modoc in this, but uh, it'd be interesting if we do get some sort That'd of interesting bad, so. big bad. Well, yeah, because Modoc's already been slated for Quantumania, Ant Man. So that's right. Okay, fair enough. So, all right. Anything else you want to talk about from this week, She Hulk? No, I think we've covered it. It was pretty. No, why have they dropped the tags? This is the second week in the road, no tag. I don't know. Maybe. It's really weird. Maybe it's just, yeah. They're... They run out of ideas. It's crazy. Yeah. Yep. A hundred percent. It's just, this is what it is. Uh... Yeah. It's ridiculous. Maybe they do, they want to like end on serious notes these last couple of episodes, I guess, maybe. Possibly. It's like, uh, get it's, people it's in very, and It is depressing. Cares. I mean, yeah. All right. Let's know what you thought of this week's episode of She-Hulk Attorney Law by going to explosion.com slash Twitter or jump to your Discord at explosion.com slash Discord. If you want to help us out here at All New Marvelcast, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Uh, leave us five stars anywhere you can leave five stars. We'll tell people about the one number one Australian-made MCU podcast on the internet. And if you really like this episode, thoughts worth the dollar, head on over to our Kofi page at explosion.com slash support. Right, make sure you watch next week's episode of a She-Hulk Attorney at Law and join us next time for another All New Marvelcast. Cast. <laughs>